Hi everyone, in this video we will talk about measuring accuracy using cross-validation. A good way to evaluate a model is to use cross-validation. Occasionally, you will need more control over the cross-validation process than what cross-validation score and similar function provides. In these cases, you can implement cross-validation yourself. It is actually fairly straightforward. The following code does roughly the same thing as the preceding cross-validation score code. From a scalar and model selection, import stratified k-fold. From a scalar and dot base, import clone. k-folds variable equal to stratified k-fold class open parenthesis and splits equal to 3 comma random state equal to 42 for train index test index in sk fold dot split uh, open parenthesis x train comma y train 5 close parenthesis clone classifier variable equal to clone SGD classifier, which is an object of SGD classifier class. X train faults equal to X train square bracket open square bracket train index close square bracket. Y train faults equal to Y train five open square bracket train index close square brackets x train or x test fold equal to x train open square bracket test index close square bracket y test fold equal to y train 5 open square bracket test index close square bracket clone classifier dot fit method open parenthesis x train false comma y train false close parenthesis y prediction equal to clone classifier dot predict method open parenthesis x train false close parenthesis and correct uh, equal to sum Open parenthesis, y prediction equivalent to y test fault, close parenthesis. Print n underscore correct divided by length of y predict, close parenthesis. The stratified k fold class performs stratified sampling. To produce fold that contain representative ratio of each class. At each iteration, the code creates a clone of the classifier. Then it counts the number of correct prediction and outputs the ratio of correct predictions. Above 95% accuracy ratio of correct prediction on all the cross validation faults. This looks amazing. Well, before you get too excited, let's look at a very dumb classifier that just classifies every single image in the not 5 class. class. From a scalar and dot base import base estimator. Class never 5 classifier base estimator. Definition fit method open parenthesis self comma x capital comma y equal to none close parenthesis pass definition predict method open parenthesis self comma x close parenthesis return mp dot zeros open parenthesis length x comma one comma data type equal to boolean close parenthesis can you get uh, can you guess this model accuracy? Let's find out. Never five classifier object equal to never five classifier class. 
cross validation score open a parenthesis never five class or never five object comma x train comma y train five comma cv equal to three comma scoring equal to accuracy it has over 90 percent accuracy this is simply because only about 10 percent of the images are fives so if you always guess that an image is not a five you will write about 90 percent of the time this demonstrates why accuracy is generally not the preferred performance measure for classifier thanks for watching